So, you might be wondering, what do I do with this said heart pendant now that I got it? You might think I would equip it. Oh no. No, no, no. I will not be equipping it. I will be doing an override. Having a hero's proof for myself would be nice. Yeah, HP recovery is pretty nice. I would like RP recovery though. I don't remember which accessory that was. You've had the game crash before. If I got a heart pendant and then the game crashed, I would cry. <laughs> I, you'd, you'd hear a grown man break down on stream. Hey, John. You should get your farming tools out of the box. Good idea, John. That way we could actually do what we wanted to do. What we're going to do is we're going to craft this cheap bracelet and we're going to arrange the items in such a way. This? This? Never mind. We're in some slight trouble, chat. Some very small amount of trouble. I don't... <laughs> I'm not... I'm not high enough crafting experience to use these things. No, you don't need Light Ore. Light Ore is for weapons. For the previous games, the reason you wanted a Light Ore is because you needed, uh... You needed it in order to switch weapon types. Like, it was a whole different branch of recipes, so if I wanted the strongest hammer to be on the strongest sword, I'd need a light ore in order to transfer its properties. You know what we're going to do today, chat? We're going to level up our crafting and forging, and we're going to use a method I had heard about but not tested yet. So first, I'm going to save it, because no doubt this is going to drain me. First, heart pendant. Second, go here. The only thing we want in our menu, in our, uh, Inventory is scrap metal. This is all we want. You don't need to complete a recipe in order to get experience from it, so we are going to intentionally fail stuff that's a higher difficulty in order to get as much experience as we can. We're making 43. What was that? Seven levels? Ah, <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. And would you look at that. One scrap metal plus. That's the beautiful thing about this grind. Yeah, crafting level 21. I need recipes that are very easy for me to make right now. But they also need to be a higher crafting level. I need to go to the end. Whoops. Ah. Uh. Murakuma, why do you have a heart event going on right now? That was delicious, thank you. How much do I owe you? Uh... Hey now, you don't need to break out the cash. If you insist, run Aries, run! Run, he's doing this for free! No, it doesn't have to be rings, it just has to be something I can craft and easy to make. It could be armor, it could be shoes, it could be a hat. It sells for one? Does love mean nothing to this game? Don't want it to be that number. I would absolutely fail and get nothing out of it. Wait, would I get nothing out of it? Huh. The gears in my brain are turning, chat. They are turning. And when they turn, I must test. We're going to save it. And do you know what we're going to do, chat? We're going to go over the maximum number, 47, which isn't much over it, but if I'm correct, that means... Oh my god, this game is broken. <laughs> this game is so broken. Well, chat, we need scrap. And you know a fast way to earn scrap? Actually, before we get to that, <laughs> how funny... How funny is it that my big mistake from the from the first grinding session of Gotcha actually came in handy here? All those scrap metals I got from accidentally failing the hose is being used now. The scrap metal incident. We could talk about it now that something good came out of it, but before, that was a touchy subject in the chat. Many tears were shed. Don't hate me for what I'm about to do. Okay, never mind, you can hate me. I'm kind of hating myself for what I'm doing. Some of you might have a sneaking suspicion. 
Oh, this is gonna hurt. I mean, it hurt worse if there wasn't an exploit to get more, you know? Still, this kind of sucks. These poor rocks have no idea what I'm about to do. Yeah, that's what you do if you want to collect them. So if I'm not trying to collect them, what do you think I'm about to do? Sunshine on my shoulders makes me happy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, hey, I got a randomly large amount of scrap metal plus. You might have 10,000 IQ. That doesn't mean I'm happy about what I just committed. The crime against humanity I just committed. None of it makes me happy, chat room. Joins Johnny Boy stream, learns how to commit crafting atrocities. Yes, this is exactly what I wanted. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're here for these crimes against humanity I'm committing. We're about to do another experiment, chat. Aren't you excited? We're gonna go 41. Oh crap, I can't get the number right. <laughs> because I leveled up. I'm suffering from success. So, unfortunately, the reason we're not able to craft more is because it's taking into account our bag space. Which means I'm limited in what I can do. But, if I put all this hunk of junk inside of my storage box... Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't matter if I upgrade the storage box's capacity because crafting only cares about your personal storage. Which is why I'm not able to craft over a certain number. Chat, <laughs> hear me out. Lamellar vest. All I would need to do <laughs> is get orcalcum. If, if I get orc alchem, I can make a lamellar vest. Simple, right? Martin got you, Quest. Earlier than expected, we knocked down Martin's door and demand his goods. I mean, it seems to be. And the more my thoughts dwell on it, the more I'm considering it, which isn't a good idea. Don't encourage me, chat. Don't encourage me to do it. You know you don't want to watch it. You know you don't want to see me suffer. Or maybe you do. You get scrap metal no matter what if you fail a crafting or forging recipe. Even if you put food into it. Why are you guys trying your hardest to convince me? <laughs> I just got out of the addiction and now you're bringing me back in. I am looking at the accessories. And, uh, brooches. All they require is platinum. And one gem. If by some miracle I got platinum in one gem, I'd have access to a level 55 recipe. Uh, uh, why am I thinking about this? I have an easier solution. I have an easier solution. Hold on. Where is it? Yeah, that'll work. Alright, chat. We're going on an adventure. Here's the plan. Squirrels. Need to go find four. We're not going to catch him. No, no. We have something far more nefarious in store for those critters. Now, where were they at again? Where art thou, squirrel friend? Oh, thank you for coming right to me. Um, no, I don't want a Gaia crystal fragment. I want your fur. Okay, that's one. And I have a squirrel too. The problem is I'm trying to get the squirrel to level 10 so I can get level 10 furs. So I'm not using it. Alright, we got four. We're good. We can leave. Run! Run away! What if we're encouraging you to gamble? Sooner or later, I'm always drawn back to it. It can't be helped. Now, all we need is one piece of fur to make a ball of yarn. Now, we're going to do this three more times to make four balls of yarn. With these four balls of yarn, one, two, three, four. It's too expensive. We need to level up a little. Not a problem. Uh, I guess it's not. Who, who needs level 10? <laughs> who needs level 10 items? Not me. First, we're going to do 240 so I don't... Uh, use my health yet. Now we're gonna just craft as many as I can. 
It is actually. Especially since I still have the Rangers pin that lets me bathe for free. <laughs> Suckers. You could bathe multiple times in any game. You just have to have money to do it. But the thing in this game is that bathing is free once you, uh, until you advance your rank in the seed hierarchy. Right now, I'm still a beginner, so I can just bathe whenever I want. You can only bathe once a day in Frontier? Oh, God. <laughs> Who says bathing more than once a day is unhealthy? All right, chat. It's time to see how stupid this really is. Oh, I can't believe what's about to happen. You guys don't even know. You don't even understand what I'm about to unleash. Is it super pendant time? Almost. Right now, it's abuse against mechanics time. Starting by doing this. Don't use a recipe. Become a five head and use a recipe I don't own. Make a hand knit scarf. Fun fact. Hand, skit, hand knit scarves will always be blue. Because yarn is technically an accessory. I have a Wii which I horrifically destroyed. It had a disc reading problem so I tried to fix it. And by fix it I made it not function anymore. <laughs> What do you think my crafting level is going to jump to when I craft 24 hand of scarves? 48. 45. Any other numbers? Any other numbers? I think it's going to go to 50. I honestly think it's going to go to 50. Wow, 44. <laughs> 44? Oh, God. This might take a hot minute. I mean, I'm not going to be doing overriding right now, but I am going to be... Oh wait, no, I am doing overriding. But I don't need to be level 50 to do it. I do need to be a higher level because of the pendants I'm trying to uh, pass down to a new accessory. Now the way overriding works with accessories being passed down is that you can pass on your accessories effects if you override it in this way. So this star pendant, which increases my experience gain, and this, which increases my companion's power, would be passed down into the new accessory I'm making right now. But I have no idea if it's just two or three. If it's three, then when I enter something, this will work. But if it's not, then this won't have any effect. Now, the rosary works a little odd in this game. Because once you equip it, if there's monsters out there, they'll just fade away. Like this. It works. So we know that three works. So what about four? <laughs> Does four happen to work? I mean, surely, surely there's no way four would work, right? That'd just be ridiculous. I'm going to lose my mind if it's four. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, now see, um, there's an issue. Because now I need to figure out if all of the accessories are working as they should. So I'm going to have to put things that I know the effect of into the recipe. And if they all work, then that means this is even more broken than it was in 4. 